Hi, my name is Mike Keckley, and I'm a teacher in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So there's this big march going on in D.C. this week, and I can't make it, but I wanted to tell a little bit of my story. See, I got a new job this year, not because I was fired or kicked out because of budget cuts, but by my own choice. And I'm going to a new school starting this fall that's problem-based learning. And it's one-to-one -one laptop school, and it has a really cool design. Let me show you my classroom. Notice we have tables instead of desks and chairs with wheels. We can easily move around and make groups. It has really cool open spaces where students can work in collaborative groups like this one. And here's another one. But that's not why I'm really excited. The shiny stuff's cool, but I'm excited because this school has no textbooks, no set curriculum, no standardized assessments, or no tests. We're going to follow broadly the state standards, but other than that, I get to design the curriculum myself. I'm being treated as a professional. I'm not here because of merit pay or bonuses or anything ridiculous like that. I'm here because of academic freedom. I get input along with the team and all the decisions we make in the school. I get to truly shape and individualize learning for students. So it's summertime and I'm not ready yet. I've been reading books and planning out the curriculum for world history class. I have a scope and sequence down, but very few details. I know we're going to cover topics like trade and exploration, imperialism, racism, war, genocide, civil rights, and many others. But I don't know exactly the details of all this, but I'm feeling good. You want to know why? Because this is a good thing. I don't know my students yet. I've met some at open houses, but I don't know them. I don't know their background knowledge, their family history, their interests, their passions. So how do I know how we're going to learn all this stuff? I have to meet them first. I have to get to know them. Only then can I design great lessons. Once we build a relationship with each other, I want to let their passions and interests drive how the curriculum goes and how we approach all these topics. I can create some great project ideas, and I have some in mind, but I also might be limiting students. If I give them the choice, they might create even better ideas than I ever dreamed of, and they might apply it in new ways. They might decide to start a charity or to raise money. I don't know where they might go, and I don't want to limit them by my ideas. And next year will be even better because I will know my students, and I get to teach them again. And we'll be looking at U.S. history, but we're going to cover a lot of the same time period. So if we miss something according to the standards, we'll just pick it up and hit it next year. And I'll get to talk to my students, and we'll decide uh, how they want to cover it next year, and they'll design their own learning. I won't be the one who figures out how we're going to cover everything next year. They'll already have figured out how to do it themselves. I'll just be there to guide and help and ask lots of good questions. So as the reform movement in this country moves towards more standardization, more testing, and more treating them all the same, my students aren't going to be widgets. My students are going to be have a personalized instruction about their passions. Why can't all schools do this?